How's it going, everybody? Dato Doi here, and it is finally time after uh, what feels like months of waiting. Goku GT is finally out. Now, I say out like that because really, he's only out on the Nintendo Switch version, which I don't currently have on me right now. And for some reason, because of the update that comes along with Goku GT, you can also see him in some arcade mode teams. Luckily for us, being in arcade mode means that we can give him a try as long as we find him and use Captain Ginyu's body switch on him. I know it's a little convoluted, but when you want to play the character as bad as me, uh, you, you definitely should go give it a shot if that's your only option of playing him right away. Nintendo Switch users, like I said, can just go ahead and buy the character and play him right away. And you are going to want to do that because this character is so much fun. Uh, so this is going to be a basic overview of the character. We're not going to get into the nitty gritty, just some fine details of the character, show off some of his supers and stuff, how they work, what you can do with them just a little. But a more in-depth guide with combos and stuff will probably come at a later date. All right, so let's get started with two questions that we all have about almost every character that comes out in this game. Does he have a low 2L? The answer is yes, he does have a low 2L. Now, he is a short character, so it is a little bit stubby, but of course, having one is already a thousand times better than not having one. So Goku GT can go ahead and get a check mark in that category. The other question I always see people asking is, what is this character's assist? For some reason, uh, Arxis always holds this info close to the chest, but Goku GT's assist is actually a beam, which is super good. Think of it like the opposite of Cell. You know, Cell comes out and jumps up and fires a beam downwards. Goku GT runs out a little bit and then fires a beam that goes up. I like this a lot better than Cell's assist because one, it covers a more useful area of the screen in my opinion. Uh, it might be a little worse uh, in the corner though. But it goes full screen, it acts like a beam. Uh, it pretty much has all the useful qualities of it. Uh, and no, it's not as good as Super Saiyan Goku's beam or Goku Black's beam, which are just straight on amazing assists, probably the best in the game. But this one is going to be super easy to slide into teams. You know, you never have a hard time getting a beam assist character on a team. Uh, in fact, they're usually pretty easy. All that matters after that point is if the rest of the character is good. And I think it's very early, but I think Goku GT could be exactly that. Another quick thing I should mention is that Goku GT does not have a standard down heavy in the air. So you won't be able to do those standard extensions like you would normally expect with most of the cast. I think some someone like Fu Zamasu, you know how if you do a down heavy with him, uh, he just kind of does his normal heavy, but with a little bit of extra flip. Uh, I don't know how else to explain that. You, you know what I'm saying if you've ever played Zamasu. The same goes for Goku GT here. Uh, so you're going to need different air routes uh, in order to fully maximize what you can do with this guy. Moving on to the supers, we've pretty much seen everything this character has to offer. His level one is a normal Super Kamehameha, and he'll go up to Super Saiyan in order to use it. Interestingly enough, I don't know if this is going to be like this when he actually comes out or if this is like an arcade room thing but if you kill somebody with his level one close enough to uh when they get knocked out uh, it actually is a destructive finish uh, i don't know if that's on purpose like i said but if it is i guess that's a cool little feature uh, not really too important though if a character is knocked out he will go up a level it's a super saiyan 3 and you'll gain a little bit more damage on that level one super uh, still a level one though so that's always preferred to having to spend two more bars and now as far as level threes go we have a lot to talk about here he has a lot of options for starters he has his galactic spirit bomb we've all seen this we've been looking at it uh, and yeah he can act directly out of after it which means he falls to the ground and you can act out of it but what you actually want to do with this thing uh, is you can punish a super dash with this. If you see him coming and you and you happen to hit Spirit Bomb, probably not the most consistent thing, but if you can get it down, it's really good. Then they'll fly right into you, get caught by your Galactic Spirit Bomb, and you can actually combo after the fact with this thing by switching out into another character. That is super crazy. Base Goku cannot do that. Uh, already it's looking like this Spirit Bomb is superior. <laughs> now his other level threes involve the Super Saiyan 4 transformation. You can see it right here after you land a hit. Uh, it plays a little cutscene just like Super Saiyan Goku's with Super Saiyan 3. Uh, and he powers up to Super Saiyan 4, does a Dragon Fist, does immense amount of damage, and then instantly turns back into Kid Goku. I know a lot of people were hoping, even with what they've shown off, that somehow you'd stay afterwards. Uh, that is not the case here. He just transforms back to a kid instantly. Although, interestingly enough, because of this update, people found voice files with Goku GT Super Saiyan 4 talking about... Uh, Kamehameha, 10 times Kamehameha, and it's really interesting. I don't know why they did that. Maybe it's just like future proofing, like, all right, we got we got Sean in the booth, might as well take advantage of his talents in case we ever do want to do something else with this character. But people have also pointed out that it's very familiar to uh, Super Saiyan Goku's uh, level three. So maybe there's something going on there. I don't want to talk about that too long because I have no idea what that is, but it is very cool. Ka me 
Try times ten. Okay, well, I got off track there. Uh, Goku also has a normal level three that you can use when a teammate isn't defeated. You'll see here it resembles when he took down Demon King Piccolo. Uh, he just launches in the air, punches straight through you, uh, and then decides to finish you off with a beam down. Uh, very cool. I actually kind of like this more than the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Don't get me wrong, Dragon Fist is sick, but I don't know. There's something so simplistic about this that I, I just can't help but love. All right, now let's move on to the moves here. You can see Goku GT's entire move list. I just got that up on the screen for you. We'll go through a few of them. Uh, this first one is just a simple charge. Uh, you're going to be seeing this in a lot of corner combos. Uh, that's just the way Dragon Ball Fighters work. If you got a charge that keeps them in the air a little bit longer, you're probably going to be seeing this in the corner. Now, the medium version of this is actually kind of interesting because it plays a little cutscene if it connects. I never got the heavy one to connect, though. The AI was just not having it for whatever reason. Uh, but if the medium one connects, this does play out. Uh, and that's gonna require, you know, more testing to see what that really does for you. Now, one of my favorite things about Goku GT uh, is the fake, fake out Kamehameha. This, this dude is a mix up monster, okay? It's gonna take some practice against real opponents to really test all this out. But man, I was putting the moves on this bot. Look at these fake out Kamehamehas. I was all over the place. You can follow that up with a beam. Uh, and not to mention, we'll talk about it later, but the power pull stuff is very good for mix ups as well. This character is so much fun. I. <laughs> Honest opinion, guys, maybe the most fun DLC character ever. I don't know. It sucks because, you know, we're all aware of the, the stigma around this character. Another Goku didn't get the install uh, that people wanted, but I got to keep it like it is, dude. This is a good movement tech right here. I like this. <laughs> and with that, of course, he does have a normal beam. Super useful, just like any other beam in the game. Gets us some good vanish stuff. Uh, but man, what a character, guys. Now you'll notice here on the move list, it doesn't say anything about his power pull, and that's because the power pull is actually tied to the special button for Goku GT. He doesn't have any normal key blasts as far as I'm aware. You just click the special button and the power pull will come out in a straight line, taking up a huge amount of screen space, by the way. But the power pull also has other applications like launching Goku GT in the air. You can use down S to fall on them with the stick. Actually, I, I really see a lot of potential in this move, catching people off guard, going overhead, and then dropping on them with the power pole, uh, and he falls a little quicker, unless I'm imagining something uh, that. So that in itself is already super useful. But unfortunately, testing mix-up stuff like this on computers is pretty much pointless. You know, it's pretty much, I'm just running algorithms to see if they get hit. Uh, so whether or not any of this stuff will be super useful remains to be known, uh, but hopefully it is, because this dude is crazy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a brief overview of the character, but hopefully it got you more excited for him, or maybe you still don't like the character. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to get this out to you because I've been talking about how much I'm looking forward to this character, and I wanted to get a video out right away. Regardless, if you enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to the week of Goku GT ranked here on the channel, whenever I can get that going, uh, probably right away, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I also got some videos up on your screen that you can feel free to check out. Make sure to share this video with anybody looking forward to playing Goku GT, or, or maybe share it with someone that was like, eh, I think he's going to be whack because uh, who knows, maybe seeing this will turn them around. Other than that, though, I have been Dr. Doya. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I will see you in the next one.